On the other side of the celebrity scale, John, uh, I love this story from Salon. Jeremy Irons is officially the worst. <laughs> oh, no. You yeah. have no idea. <laughs> oh, no. Is Depardieu got a comp- competition? What's going on? Oh, he's uh, worse than Depardieu. Here are the fun facts. Someone, oh, do do. Salon writing, someone please help Jeremy Irons find a job. He needs a better gig than his current one of full-time troll. <laughs> in oh, no. April, he gave a uh, bizarre interview with HuffPost Live in which he speculated same-sex marriage was a uh, gateway to incest. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In February, he recounted the story of a female friend who'd been entangled uh, with a much older man when she was 13. He said there was sex involved, applauding her casual attitude toward the youthful statutory rape experience. Hmm. There are people who are victims in life, he explained, and I don't think they should be encouraged. Oh, you know, whiny 13-year-olds. Sure. Now, well, um, is this funny because people thought Jeremy Irons was gay for about 12 years? I mean, <laughs> I guess. Now, he has expanded his sympathetic view towards sex abuse. In a weekend interview with the Sunday Times, he weighed in on the recent revelations of sexual abuse that went unchecked for decades in the UK entertainment industry. The late uh, TV, oh, yeah. TV presenter Jimmy Seville, have you heard oh, this story? Oh, that believed guy's a to, monster. Right, oh. Believed to have abused upward of 450 female and male victims, some as young as eight. Over a wow. 40-year span, Irons explained that young folks who hung around the sets of shows like Top of the Pops in the 70s were obviously goers. That's slang, oh. apparently, for somebody who... She's a goer. Know what I mean? <laughs> or is someone who is promiscuous. What were these girls doing there? What did they want, the lot of them, when they hung around the caravans and trailers afterwards? Oh, no. There was a sort of sexual freedom oh. to have that all that dragged up for wow. something relatively innocuous. That's tough. No wonder he played Humbert Humbert. It was Ooh, uh, not they much seem, of a stretch. Oh. They seem to be in a mood to pillory anybody. Well, anybody that's been... Jimmy Raping kids like for 40 years. Creepy grandfather figure. He said, uh, yeah, I, the, Salon says, I don't like, know what like they wanted. to see Regis. Salon writes, I don't know what they wanted either, but I'm guessing the answer isn't it to be raped and then mocked about it 40 years later by the guy from the Die Hard movies. Uh, he he also said there is a blanket term for child abuse, and if the worst Wait thing a minute. you... Jeremy Irons wasn't in the Die Hard movies. Yes, he was in the third yes, one. Yes, he was. Oh, in yes. the third one? Okay. Yes. And Die Hard for two and a half hours, or whatever it was. <laughs> right. <laughs> he said there's a blanket term for child abuse, and if the worst thing you've done is put your hand on under someone's thigh under their skirt... That may be sexual abuse, but it's not like buggering a nine-year-old boy. Oh. Salon writing, apparently then sexually abusing boys is worse than abusing girls, and abusing nine-year-olds is worse than abusing, say, 12-year-olds. Got it. I've always thought he should play Boris Karloff. He has the same accent. Yeah, but if you murder murder an orphanage full of children, it's not as bad as murdering two adults. Wow. He's gotten very, very... Can we just say it's all bad? He's gotten very creepy. Very, very creepy. No. Nope. Nope, not gonna happen. Not hey, hey, good guy, good guy. No, it's not happening. No, 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 